Hello everyone, my name is Gleason, and welcome to the showcase video for the program that we made in episode 1 of Discovering Computer Craft. So this is going to be a short video showcasing what the program that we made is and what it does. And yeah, so, this is the program. Remember this is pretty much the first program I've written in Computer Craft, so it's a pretty newbish way of doing it now that I'm looking back. But... Um, basically it will dig a stairway and it has several things that it will do to make sure that it works properly including it does lighting it also this is the main time consumer it will place blocks around the stairwell so that water won't leak in and if we're going through any hostile places then it will also wall it off and so to make it work we need to put a block type in the first slot and lighting in the second slot, torches actually, if you use blocks that'll block off the stairway. So blocks and torches and I can go CD disk and I can type stairs. I currently have it going, I, I didn't write in a way to tell it how many blocks to dig down so I'll have it dig down, yeah I have, I'll say 70. And so I'm just gonna let it run here and show you the first little bit. So he's digging around, he checks his sides, he puts a block down if there's no blocks below. I thought there was a creeper over there, just some just some grass. So he'll make his way through. He won't dig out and replace anything with glass. He'll just make sure that there's no nothing no places that stuff can leak in. And so as you can see, he'll go through all this and then eventually we'll have a stairway through this water. And I'll be back in a minute once he's made some progress. So as you can see, we're making... Oh, chicken made his, way <laughs> made his way down here. As you can see, we're successfully making a path through the water. He also has um, gravel and sand detection, so that, you know, if, gravel, if he starts digging up gravel and it starts falling in front of him or on top of him, it won't just wreck the whole program. So that's one of the things. Also, if you put like a block like glass in it, he won't put torches down, which is an unfortunate thing, but that's one of the penalties of using glass. Because you can't put torches directly onto glass. Actually, you can, you can put it on top now, can't, can't you? Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, um, as you can see, it's making its way down. One thing I didn't write into the program, which is a downside to it, a way of managing inventory. Oops, see, we've got a torch there now. We didn't even need to put the one. Oh no, I didn't even. <laughs> I'm stupid. Anyway, um, yeah, no inventory management, so you do have to keep him stocked up with blocks manually. But if you're going underground from like. Unless you're doing stuff like this, he won't actually need. The chances are he probably won't need extra blocks, like a stack will be enough, but. Yes, you will have to refill it manually. Oh, that's actually a bug. I didn't realise. If he digs the sand out, there is a chance that water will leak in. But that's something that would be almost impossible to account for thinking about it. Anyway, so I'll let him dig some more. Of course, he'll just go straight through ores. It won't be an issue for him. And I'll be back again. Here we are. Just got to the bottom here. As you can see, we're hitting bedrock. It has no functionality for when it hits bedrock, so... It's just going to get stuck, pretty much. And so, these were the spoils. This is how much stuff it used in the end, although we refilled it with glass a couple times. But that is the functionality of the program. So I'm going to head back up, and I'll put the program onto Pacebin for you guys, so that you can get it yourself. Here we go. And so this program wasn't very complicated, but it was a very good introduction for me to learn... Lua. I already knew a bit of Lua, but I needed. I hadn't really practically used it much, so all you need to do to get the program is go to your computer craft, make sure HTTP is enabled in your config settings, and type paste bin get sb7ece capital DT. And then you'll have it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Discovering Computer Craft, and now that you've seen the exact functionality, and I'll see you guys next time.